without knee hurting, but your thigh should be burning. Now you could add mini bands onto this if you wanted to. However, stop. I think you'll find it's too challenging and it just gets a little bit frustrating because some of the bands will tend to roll up. All right, now we're going to do the same on the other leg. So low as you can go, side, diagonal, back, across, back, diagonal, side. All right, get down nice and low. The weight stays on the leg that's not moving. So you're just tapping, come in, tap, come in, tap, and across. So how low you go is totally dictating how hard the exercise is. You are trying to get your thigh as close to 90 degrees as possible. So if your thigh isn't burning right now, you need to be a little lower. Three rounds. 
hands. Slowly and well warmed up, making sure form is perfect. You won't get it on the second circuit. Don't worry, enjoy this one. All right, so those lunges, remember, weight is on the leg that is not moving. Mainly on the heel. This other leg is just tapping. Hi, let's go. And you can crank up difficulty to this one by putting a sandbag or something on your shoulders, adding some weight. You could be holding it in your arms if you wanted to. But we got a lot of legs to come yet, so you might want to save them. Remember, it's just a tap with that foot. You are not putting the weight on this leg. The weight is totally on this leg. Okay, switch over. Active recovery. You've only got 10 seconds. Not long enough to really recover. And into the other side. Try to work on stretching the leg out to the side, to the back, right across there. So you're challenging the hip range of movement, working to as big of a range as your hip flexibility will allow. 20 seconds left. Core pulled in tight. So you're working your abs, holding yourself in that position. Not locked straight. 
and check your position, if you've got the mirror, make sure your back is nice and flat, shoulder blades squeezed throughout. Next one, hollow rocks. Oh, I love this one. You're on your back, legs up, arms are up, and you're just rocking. Easiest exercise. You're trying to hold that position. So the legs and the arms are not coming down and up. You're basically in that slight curve the whole way through. And it's so much harder than it looks. There isn't really a way of making it easier or harder, apart from if you're a little bit more bent, you've got more way of wobbling, rocking. So the straighter you are, the more slight, the rocker, it will make the exercise a little easier. Alright, are you ready? Back up for number two. Those fabulous frog squats. So I'll show you the front view this time. Legs are wider, hence the name, and your bum is coming down and up. Fingers are underneath my toes, and then it's the forwards, backwards, step or jump. So back straight, bum up high. The legs are coming up to as straight as you can get them. My legs are not that straight. I don't have very flexible hamstrings. What you're making sure is not happening is your back rounding. So you're trying to keep your back as straight as possible. And if your thighs are about to burst into flames, you're doing the exercise right. Excellent, all right, back to that plank. Give your legs a chance to stretch out a little bit with the shoulder taps. Don't worry about going fast. Focus more on getting the exercise right. Keeping that plank nice and still. Don't let your bum come up or your bum sag down. You're trying to be flat. You're trying to keep your shoulder blades squeezed tight together.
those elbows soft, slightly bent, not locked, straight.
predominantly working. Balance is one of those things that if you don't challenge it, it will 
marching crabs, whatever you want to call them, something on the ground, working the core and the bum. Alright, so bum down, up, elbow to knee, down, up, elbow to knee. Now you could make it a little easier by just bringing the leg up, down, up, leg up, bringing the hand off the ground as well makes it a lot harder. Nice, slow, steady movement. Remember you are working to your personal level. If you're working out with someone else, focus on you doing it right. Getting the form correct, breathing correct. There's a lot of components that you have to think about. And none of them are that complicated, but throwing them all in together at the same time doesn't make it challenging. So hinge from the hips, back nice and straight, leg to the side, leg right out to the back. And remember, if you want to make it harder, you do that horizontal sweep, keeping the leg as high as possible the whole way round. Easier, coming up, down, up, down. And you're trying to keep the hips parallel to the floor. That leg that you're standing on should be bent. Remember, you don't ever have your body weight on a locked joint. The knee a little bent means that you're working the tendons and the ligaments and you are not overstraining the joint. So bending forwards from the hips, that back should be nice and straight, belly pulled in tight, and ready for those lateral lifts, leg out the back. Smooth, slow, fluid movement. Try to get the leg as high as possible, slowly back down, and the same out the back. Keeping that knee bent. 